I was adamant from the outset that it was imperative that you weren't sitting in a darkened cinema looking at a screen, but rather sitting in a lounge chair looking through a picture window as a world that passed you by. And wrapping around the world was the cultural inheritance and the creatures and the characters that exist upon that world. And that was only possible if the world of Middle Earth was as possessing of detail and variation as our own world is to us. So the first thing that we set about doing was creating cultural inheritance, giving the feeling that wrapping around the world of Middle Earth is a culture that dates back thousands of years. The armour that we see in the moment, the armour that we're viewing on the screen, is the result of that culture and the growth of that cultural inheritance. We wanted to make sure that Every soldier had a different buckling system, a different belting system. Every lead and featured extra had different componentry to the next. Because in the medieval era, it was just as easy to make two things completely different as it was two things the same, because the Industrial Revolution hadn't arrived. Likewise, with the sculpting of the characters that we see in the world of Middle Earth, we wanted the orcs to all be different, as different as we are in the world. Peter described the orcs as being dock workers, these hardened, grisly looking, um, almost schoolyard bully types that had bad acne when they were kids and got a real chip about it and now they, um, they were basically pissed off and ready to go to war. One of the techniques that we've used for the orcs was to sculpt a huge number of different sculptures. I think we did almost a hundred in total. But then we make a series of prosthetics of all different variations. In total, 10,000 in all were made for the films. And then by adhesing those to the original foam latex mask, we're again then able to take that original hundred characters and extrapolate those out into thousands of different variations so that almost no two are alike. Now the orcs, you would think, uh, have poor armour. Their armour actually is very, very good. It's just bloody ugly. Their armour is made up of a ragtag collection of junk that they found off the battlefields of the world of Middle Earth. Although not the bravest race uh, as individuals, they certainly can hunt as a pack. And we wanted the feeling that they were some raging horde of less than um, coordinated characters. We went to great lengths, hand beating the armour out of plate steel exactly as it had been done in the medieval era cooking it up in huge furnaces, beating it out of a, a, on anvils, the swords being hand ground out of plate spring steel, the, the hilts and crossbars um, cast up out of the lost wax casting, exactly how our forefathers would have done it themselves. 